Aiden Ross just started a war. There are Twitch streamers, YouTubers, all kinds of content creators all up in arms about what Aiden Ross has been up to over the last few days. There have been lawsuit threats, claims of stealing thousands of dollars, and a familiar company that you'll recognize if you've watched this channel before. So what happened? So this whole thing kind of kicked off when a YouTuber named Internet Anarchist tweeted this. He said, I just lost $8,000 from Aiden Ross false claiming my video about the Penguin Zero versus Sneeko situation. F you Aiden Ross. And he shows a screenshot of the copyright claim. A copyright owner claimed some content in your video. Sneeko's horrible response to Penguin Zero. Let's take a look at that video and see if Internet Anarchist was just re-uploading Aiden's content or if it was really a commentary video that falls under fair use. So this is Internet Anarchist's video that was claimed by Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross copyright claimed this entire video taking all of the revenue from Internet Anarchist's upload, which Internet Anarchist says was about $8,000. This video has about a million and a half views. As you can see, it's heavily edited and I would argue is transformative in its nature. And the funny part about this is one of the first clips of Aiden that Internet Anarchist features is not even Aiden's own clip. It's Aiden Ross talking over a clip of Penguin Zero. So apparently Aiden Ross and his team think that they can just copyright claim clips of Aiden Ross saying, hey, we own this, even though he's talking over somebody else's video. It gets even better because when you see who's behind this, it's just the icing on the cake. Internet Anarchist went on to say the claim was received on my video Sneeko's horrible response to Penguin Zero, where I used a stream clip of Aiden Ross interviewing Sneeko. It was used under fair use grounds and a tiny part of my long video. The revenue from this video was almost life changing money for me. It was one of my most successful videos, so it's a huge shame to have the fruits of my labor taken away from me all of a sudden, especially by someone who literally gets paid tens of millions of dollars to gamble in front of kids. And he's right about that. Uh, Aiden Ross recently leaked that he makes about $4 million a month from kick streaming and uh, basically streaming gambling. So here's the kick. Are you ready for this? Def Noodles replied to that tweet saying, yeah, he's doing this to a bunch of people. A third party company is doing all the claims. Really weird. An internet anarchist replies, yes, a party named Thumb Media Affiliate. The same people involved in abusing copyright system with speed clips. What? Thumb Media Affiliate is stealing people's revenue on their YouTube videos? What a huge surprise. I'm not surprised at all. These people are absolute scumbags. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll give you a really quick like 20 second recap. This video I made called YouTube's Biggest Copyright Troll just outed himself, showed how I Show Speed was using the same company, Thumb Media Affiliate, to falsely copyright claim people's videos on YouTube. And when I say falsely claim, the reason I'm saying that is they're claiming commentary videos. They're claiming videos that fall under fair use. These are not just people re-uploading clips. He got called out. It seemed to have died down for a little bit and now it's bubbled back up to the surface and it looks like Aiden Ross is using the same scummy company to claim videos that they have no right to claim and I believe this is illegal. And it turns out that Internet Anarchist isn't even the first person that Thumb Media has claimed on behalf of Aiden Ross. We have a tweet here from Tipster who does commentary videos saying that two of his videos got claimed by Thumb Media on behalf of Aiden Ross. And again, these are not re-uploading. These are commentary videos. And then there's another claim on behalf of Aiden Ross from Thumb Media. This is Brion, another commentary YouTuber who got claimed by these people. And then this is the kicker. I think this is the moment that um, Aiden Ross went too far when Thumb Media Media affiliate went too far. They crossed a bridge that they're not going to be able to go back over because they claimed Hassan, Hassanabi, Twitch streamer. And the reason I say that they shouldn't have done this is because he has enough of an audience and a big enough of a pull that this is getting mainstream attention now. So they claimed Hassan as well. But what they really did that set Hassan off wasn't even the claim against himself. He said in his stream that he was just going to let it slide, whatever, you know, he can make more content and move on but there's a lot of smaller creators who don't have that opportunity. Well, Aiden Ross saw Internet Anarchist's tweet where he said Aiden stole $8,000 from me, and this was Aiden's reaction to that tweet. Uh, 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 uh. W, chat, by the way, this is um Hassan's head moderator, chat. Put a W in the chat, we stole $8,000 from him. W, he needed that, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes! W, yes! <laughs> yes? 
that's his reaction. That's your reaction to stealing money from a smaller content creator His W. Yes. Like I get that you're playing up the whole, Oh, I'm a villain. I'm banned. I'm too edgy for Twitch. Like I'm over here on kick. We're selling gambling and showing porn to people, but you stealing $8,000 from a smaller content creator. That's your W just kicking somebody smaller than you. Needed that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know who this person is. I've never met this person. This person is not my head moderator. Aiden Ross somehow manages to be dumber and dumber every single day. It blows my mind how he has become even stupider than before. Yeah, I don't know where Aiden got that either because Internet Anarchists isn't associated with Hassan at all. I think honestly that Aiden just repeats whatever people tell him as if it's a fact. I'm pretty sure somebody in his Discord said, hey, this is Hassan's top mod, lol. And he just repeated it on stream without even bothering to check. But yeah, at this point in Hassan's stream, I'm covering myself up. So I, I move myself up here. So now you got two of me. Basically what's going on here is he's reacting to my video where I talk about Thumb Media because it was one of the older videos showing how I show speed was using them to abuse copyright. So Hassan's kind of doing some research and digging in on what these people have done in the past. Reacting to the fucking video. Aiden Ross tried to retort this by saying it's actually his video since his socials are in the corner. Saw a clip of it a couple days ago. Yeah, I should have never been kind enough to keep his fucking socials in the corner. That's what, that was my problem. That was my issue, I guess. I never signed a fucking release. Suck my cock. I'll see you in court, you stupid fuck. Yeah, so I mean, I, I think he's actually mad enough to sue him. I, I don't think that these are just empty threats. And I think maybe we've finally gotten people involved who are big enough, have enough influence who can put a stop to this. The other thing that Hassan brings up later in the stream is that he's literally friends and co-hosts of a podcast with a guy who set the precedent for copyright law for cases like this. So this has actually all been litigated before. Ethan Klein, H3H3, and Ela countersued Matt Haas. He tried to say that them reacting to his content was his content, that they couldn't do it. So he sued them over it and they won. The judge basically said, no, you're allowed to react to people's content. Now, the judge did go on to say the court is not ruling here that all reaction videos constitute fair use. So that is something important to keep in mind. This isn't like a blanket statement. The judge didn't go out and say, hey, everybody on YouTube, just react to everything. You can upload whatever you want. But I do think it sends a strong message to people like Aiden and to people like Speed that you are probably legally in the wrong. Like if this ended up going to court, you're probably legally in the wrong and there are penalties and repercussions for doing false copyright claims and strikes. So let's just keep that in mind as we cover this story. But here's the thing. With Aiden, he's in the gutter, right? He's already shit. He's already dog shit. He already knows that people don't like him at this point. And he's made more money than f***ing God at this point. The reality is that the crypto gambling casino that runs stake paid him a fat bag. Yeah, so it says this 21 year old Twitch streamer is earning close to $4 million a month from one sponsor. $4 million a month from one sponsor? That doesn't even include any of his other sponsors, any of the ad revenue he's getting, any of that, any of the money from his YouTube channel that has millions of subs. What does $8,000 mean to Aiden Ross? Absolutely nothing. What does $8,000 mean to a smaller YouTuber that has 200,000 subscribers? Internet Anarchist said that $8,000 is life-changing money for him. This is either a combination of unchecked greed or just absolute censorship. Like, are you just trying to silence people who you don't like? Is that what this is about? Are you trying to disincentivize them and steal their money? Or do you just really want to put that money in your pocket that bad? Is the eight grand really making that much of a difference to you, Aiden? Because if it is, something's up. Your people are stealing money from you if you really need eight grand that bad, but it gets worse. The problem is copyright law isn't fully definitive on this type of novel collaborative content. I know, which is why he's f***ing up the bag for himself. That's the point. This will open up an opportunity if it goes to courts for people that he collaborates with without signing a f***ing release form to sue him. So every Instagram model that has ever appeared on Aiden Ross's streams could turn around and sue him for every f***ing dollar that he has do you understand because he's not sending release forms before having people appear on his fucking streams so hey aiden have fun with that i will literally personally pay the legal fees of other fucking instagram models and people who now hate aiden ross who have appeared on his stream to sue him for every fucking dime he has if he keeps this dumb shit up i will go and work with lawyers
to ensure that that happens. There's a reason why YouTubers don't touch this, because it would open up a legal battle that would be bad for everyone. Hassan's absolutely right here. There's kind of an unspoken rule amongst content creators. Like we do not claim each other. You really shouldn't do it unless someone is just uploading your stuff and ripping it and it's not commentary at all. You really shouldn't be claiming commentary. It's the equivalent of shitting where you sleep. Like if you really want to destroy your own industry, yeah, start claiming people who are just doing commentary about your content, Aiden, because people can go right back and claim you right back. Like everybody that you've ever reacted to can just go on your YouTube and start claiming your stuff. We don't wanna destroy our own industry. It would be suicide to the YouTube, Twitch, and just streaming ecosystems if everybody decided to claim everybody just for mentioning each other, just for appearing in somebody's video. This entire industry will cease to exist. Do you wanna to have to have a room full of lawyers every time you collaborate with somebody? Because that's what this leads to. Do you wanna to have to sign a contract every time you go on somebody's stream? That's what this leads to. Do you wanna to have to sign a fucking NDA when you play Minecraft with somebody on your fucking live stream? That's what's gonna happen if you keep claiming everybody. Either that or hopefully Thumb Media and all their affiliates lose their ability to claim people on YouTube. We're getting there. And how do you think Aiden Ross and his associates responded to Hassan's criticism? I'm sure it was very level-headed and reasonable response to all this. Hassan, we gonna go to war. I swear to God, we gonna purge your ass, Hassan. We gonna kill you, boss. You're gonna kill somebody over a fucking copy strike? Dude, you got issues if you're actually saying that. So who is that? Who's that Cuffum guy? Is he friends with Aiden Ross? Well, yeah, it looks like it. There's a bunch of videos of them playing video games together. They play 2K, they play GTA 5 together. Cuffum went on one of Aiden Ross's dating streams. I mean, I think they're boys. Aiden Ross, is that your boy? Is that, do you stand behind that? Are you, are you, are you behind your boy making death threats against people, criticizing you, stealing other people's money? Is that where we're at right now? Well, it looks like Aiden might have responded and he upped the ante even further. At this point, a ton of YouTubers and content creators got involved. Like a lot of big mainstream people have covered this. And one of the big YouTubers that's talking about it now is Actman. So Actman tweeted this out. Attention, if you are a content creator that had a video copyright claimed by Aiden Ross or I Show Speed through Thumb Media, Cardigan, or something else, then please reply to this with screenshots of the claim or feel free to DM me. I must make preparations. And boy, did Actman get a lot of replies. Jake Lucky said, this list is gonna be long. People are replying with videos that they've already made that include lists of people claimed by these people. There's tons of articles, screenshots. I sent him about seven claims that I had screenshots of. Optimus, another big YouTuber, has been claimed by these people falsely. He does commentary, he's not re-uploading clips. Bill's YouTube, another great YouTuber, has also been claimed. This thread is huge. There are so many people in this thread that have been claimed. People posting videos, clips of them getting falsely claimed by this people. And I think Actman is about to start a freaking war. And it looks like Aiden thought the same thing, but he said he wanted all the smoke. So Aiden allegedly responded saying, if Hassan wants to go band for band, I gladly welcome that. My legal team is undefeated, bitch. Aiden Ross responding to Hassanabi's lawsuit threats. Um, I tried to find the clip to back this up, I wanted to see it in video. Not that I don't trust Aiden Update. I'm sure they're a very reputable source that would never make anything up, but all the video evidence is gone. In fact, all of the VODs and clips from Aiden's kick channel are completely gone. There's nothing. All of this happened in the last three days. The last VOD is four days ago. He has scrubbed this. It is gone. The YouTube channels have nothing. Even the little channels that just re-upload his VODs straight from kick, they have nothing. They're all gone. He is he is literally trying to hide this story. He's deleted all the video evidence. I'm I'm sorting this by date on Kick. He's deleted ev it's scrubbed. And then tweets started to pop up and not the kind that are saying I'm getting claimed. Tweets started to pop up of people saying they're dropping the claims. Mischief said, "Hi Mischief, good news. The copyright claim on your video was released." Sneeko's responses to Moist Critical couldn't be more pathetic. Looks like YouTube is cracking down on Aiden Ross's copyright abuse. Another one, Narcolept. So it turns out after getting a lot of public backlash, Thumb Media are now releasing their claims. These both happened within one minute of each other. So they had two claims against this guy and they released both of them at the same time. Note that this is the same day. So there was one day where they said, okay, we gotta release all these claims. Uh, we, we gotta stop breaking the law, guys. Um, We're gonna get caught. And then the big one that started them all, Team YouTube replied to Internet Anarchist and said, hey, 
checked on this and it looks like the claim has been closed by the content owner. IA quote tweeted it and said, Aiden Ross folded thanks to everyone who helped raise awareness on this situation from bragging about stealing $8,000 from me to quietly folding behind the scenes. These last few days have been a ride video coming soon. Guys, I gotta say, you know what? I I'm not even gonna talk to my audience. I'm gonna talk directly to Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross, listen to me. You're a fucking coward. And I hope that you get everything that's coming to you because this is absolutely cowardly behavior. This is unacceptable. You've got to stop stealing money from people. You're already permabanned off of Twitch. You are losing ground, my friend. The water is rising. You're gonna run out of little rat holes that you can distribute content from if you continue to do this. Axeman posted a follow-up tweet saying, so after getting some submissions from people whose videos were claimed by Aisha Speed and Aiden Ross, I can safely say that these dick nuggets are objectively worse than Quantum TV when it comes to abuse of the copyright system. This is some next level shit, dude. Disgusting. Okay, Jabroni, what's the point? What does it matter? Who cares? He retracted the claims. Drop it, dude. Listen, Google, YouTube, please hear me out. This is an opportunity for you guys to make your system better. You can take this L and turn it into a W. You guys can turn your system into something that's great. How do you start? Start with small steps. I'm not a lawyer. I understand that you guys have to have a system like this to comply with legal demands, to comply with DMCA claims so that you don't get destroyed by the United States government. I get it. You can't just get rid of the system. Here's the first thing I would suggest. Please, 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 for the love of God, if I'm a YouTuber and I get claimed, when I go to that screen where I see the claim, please add a link to the person's website who's claiming me because right now it's just text. It's just plain text that says Thumb Media Affiliate. I have no way to verify if that is an actual company that really exists. I have no way to verify that if it is a real company that it's actually them who's claiming me. And I have no way to verify if they actually represent the person whose content that they are claiming to own. And in the past when I covered this with iShow Speed, iShow Speed denied it, denied it, denied it, and then finally said, yeah, it's me, shut up about it. It seems pretty obvious that Speed probably wasn't singling out content and saying, claim that one, don't claim that one. Who knows, maybe he was. Aiden Ross took it a totally different direction and sat back and said, yeah, W, I stole your money. Like that could be used in court. Do you not understand how stupid that is? Like you had plausible deniability up until that moment. You could have said, I don't know, those guys, you know, they just work for me. I don't tell them which videos to claim, but no, you and your massive ego had to sit back in your chair and go, W chat, W stole your $8,000. You needed that, didn't you, bro? I get that you're trying to play up to your audience of 12 year olds and make them think that you're this cool, evil villain guy who gambles and watches porn on stream and illegally rebroadcasts the Super Bowl to 100,000 people. This is going to be your downfall. And I know a lot of people, I've seen people on Twitter saying, why is Aiden Ross getting heat for this, but not all the other terrible stuff he's doing? I think because this is actionable, right? So that we can actually do something about this. Yes, he's done a ton of totally awful things. He's told people to do terrible things to each other. He has his viewers do absolutely abhorrent things. His chat is disgusting. But this is something that we can actually take action on. Maybe this is something that YouTube and Google can actually say, yeah, you know what? We're taking your ability to copyright strike people away. We're taking your ability to copyright claim people away. Maybe we can actually make him feel something because just yelling at him about his behavior, it doesn't do anything. He likes it. He does that stuff just so people will yell at him about his behavior. But this, maybe we hit him in the pocketbook. Maybe we hit him in the wallet and he finally backs down. He's already deleted the clips. He's already deleted the VODs. Who knows? Maybe this will get his attention. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys.